Hey veggie friends, I'm back. You may have seen on my Instagram that I posted a couple of vegan frozen curries and we're gonna do a food battle and see if either one of them's good and if I would buy either one or both again. So if you want to follow us on Instagram and see more taste test type deals like this, you can check out the link below. Um, so I'll go ahead and tell you about these. I got both of these at Walmart. I had a great deal that I got on them through the Ibotta app and I decided purposely to get them both curry so I could put them head to head and see which one was better and I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, our contenders in the vegan curry battle First one is Sweet Earth Curry Tiger, and this one is 16 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber, it's butternut squash, coconut milk, um, broccoli, lentils. Did I make up the butternut squash? I'm just going by the picture. Uh, let's see. I like that it has lentils in there. That's pretty cool. Um, You know, for being vegan and simple and plant-based and whatnot, there's actually like a lot of ingredients in this thing. Um, I don't know. It, it looks like squash. We'll find out. <laughs> what? Oh, sweet potatoes. Okay, there it is. Sweet potatoes. Sorry. Okay, this one has 16 grams of fat, uh, 330 calories, which really isn't that much. I'm guessing it's really dense though because it has a lot of fiber and a lot of nutrition to it. Okay, and you can actually cook it in the oven, which I'm not gonna do. Um, microwave oven is two minutes and 45 seconds. Not bad at all. Okay, second contender is Performance Kitchen Great Karma Coconut Curry. Brown jasmine rice, garbanzos, but that's where the butternut squash was. Cooked in avocado oil, and that's this one. So this one is 330 calories, so right about the same deal. Uh, only 10 grams of protein though, and 15 grams of fat. So nutritionally, you're not getting as much protein in this one. Uh, cooking time, also you can do this one in the oven. I don't know thing is if I got these I would get them for work and I really I wouldn't probably although have you ever done the Amy's meals in the oven those are actually they're good either way let's be real the Amy's kitchen meals are the bomb okay um four to four and a half minutes so this one takes longer to cook but they both look really good and gluten-free is this other one gluten-free let's see I don't think it says, so I don't know. I don't think it is. Anyway, I have no bias on these. I've never tried either brand, nothing, no items from either brand. Um, and I did hear from someone on our Veggie Everyday Facebook page that this one is killer. Um, but other than that, I will say, They got better photos. <laughs> I know that's nothing to go by. We're gonna check the taste, but they do have better photos. So let's heat these up and find out. Okay, so they both smell really good as they were heating up, but they smell really different. So this one is the Performance Kitchen, and this one definitely smells Indian, definitely more Indian influence. Whoa, 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 spilling on myself. Like trying to show you guys what it looks like. Anyway, uh, one moment, please. Okay, so that was fun. Um, I'm sorry. Can I do better? Can I do better? Oh, now can you see? Oh, now can you see without me spilling? Okay. Now this one definitely smells more Thai influence, and this is a tiger curry. And I'm actually really surprised that neither of them has tofu, which I personally like, but I think they're trying to make vegan be a little more mainstream, a little more appealing to more people, maybe 
newer vegans and vegetarians who aren't down with the tofu yet. So I'm gonna stir these. This one really likes it. Oh my goodness, I think it's still frozen in the middle. Okay, we're back. Apparently, my microwave needed a little more time on that one. So, while I was doing that, I noticed that the Performance Kitchen one also has lentils. It has black lentils in it. So this is the one I said smelled Indian. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one first. Hmm, it's really good. And um, it has a little kick of spice to it. I'm a total wimp when it comes to spice. So it does have a little kick of spice, which is really nice. This frozen meals are usually really, really boring. That's really good. Like almost, almost, almost Indian restaurant quality. So we're gonna try the curry tiger. This one has a very high concentration of lentils. I can see why it has a lot more protein than the other one. Okay, so that one is also very good, but I do think that the Performance Kitchen one is more flavorful. That being said, they both kick like most frozen meals asses. Like they're way better than a lot of other frozen meals I've ever tried. Like they're probably right on par with Amy's, which is my very, very favorite frozen, but like I already said that earlier, but they are like nobody, every time I try to get frozen pizza, not as good as Amy's. Every time I try to get frozen mac and cheese, not as good as Amy's. <laughs> and actually, I think these are better than Amy's curry. So, Performance Kitchen gets first place. Sweet Earth gets second place, but they're both really bomb and I would do them both again in a heartbeat. Easy, healthy meal, very flavorful. I, you know, I said I'm a spice one, but I do like that this one has some spice to it it's really nice so anything else you want to see us try let me know in the comments below please subscribe to veggie every day and keep coming back with more tips vegetarian content and taste tests